What's up, guys? Today I am joined by the one and only Joss452, and we're going to talk about all sorts of leaks and rumors, including a new Nick Fury skin, some small nerfs to Silver Surfer, uh, raid heals being removed from the game, T5 ability materials right around the corner, and more. So, Joss, you ready to get into all this? I am. That sounds like a lot to get through today. It is. So you heard the man. Let's get into it. All right, so we have a lot to talk about today, all sorts of news, leaks, and rumors from all kinds of sources. And in looking at it, I kind of describe this batch of news as the good, the bad, and the ugly. And so I think we'll kind of cover it in that order. Does that sound good to you? Sounds great, sir. All right, well, on that Is note... Is the ugly the nerf? Uh, no, that's the bad, uh, because it's it's a small nerf. It's not too bad. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about it. But uh, first and foremost, let's talk about the good. Um, and that is... There is a Nick Fury skin coming to the game. Uh, the banner that I just put on the screen here is from an in-game mail. And you can see uh, that's definitely not the standard Nick Fury outfit there. He's got some really cool like armor plated gold shoulder pads and like some suspenders. He's got like a pin and a chain. He's got like gold around the eye patch. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, so before I get into the details surrounding this, anything you know you want to add? What, what do you think of the skin? I think it looks amazing. I, 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 regardless of whatever skins they release for Nick Fury down the line, this is all I'm ever going to have him wearing. I don't care. This is the coolest outfit I've seen on Nick Fury, comic or otherwise. I, I have to agree. I mean, if there's one aspect of this game where they have not really let us down, it's the visuals. They consistently deliver good visuals. Uh, we've been telling them for years and years, you got to do skins. Literally three years ago, I was telling the devs, you guys got to do skins. Like. People would be much happier paying for things entirely voluntarily, just things they just think are nice and want to have. And yeah, I agree. This is a really, really cool looking Nick Fury skin. Uh, he rocks the gold very well. So uh, kind of related to this, I'm going to attach a, a rumor to this, um, which is uh, I'll, I'll say this. This is a, a leak from a source I trust, which is that uh, when costumes are introduced, every player is going to get a free costume for a legendary character. Now, I don't know that it's this one, but it could be. So, I'd certainly like it to be. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Uh, you know, I could see some other really cool costumes or other legendary characters, but I mean, I would be perfectly happy if the free costume everyone gets is for the director of Strike. It would kind of make oh, yeah. sense. So, so yeah, there's a real chance that this is the one we all get for free. But so that's good news, right? Nice. That's great news. So, all right. Well, that that concludes the good. So now we're going to get into the bad, uh, and that would be oh. the Silver Surfer nerf. So I'm going to pull up where I'm sourcing that from. Um, this is from a DM from one of the developers on Twitter. And uh, let me pull it up here for myself. Uh, the wording was, heads up, Silver Surfer is getting some small nerfs. The team feels he's exceeding his intended performance. We're looking to reduce it a bit. However, our intent is for him to remain a top shelf character. So uh, he says these changes aren't 100 percent finalized. We're looking at reducing his damage by about 15 percent and changing his passive healing to only occur on an ally turn. So, uh, wouldn't this make the first character they've actually nerfed uh, before a patch? Uh, this is kind of unprecedented for a nerf like this and only 15%. I mean, they, they act like that's a small amount. Wouldn't that still make him below Dark Phoenix and Black Bolt? Well, right now he's tied with Black Bolt, but uh, I think the idea is that since he's such a powerful controller and since he's so tanky, I think they want him to deal a little bit less damage. Like he'll still be among the top damage dealers in the game and he still does like pure piercing and he's still super fast. So I think just his overall damage output right now it's just absolutely insane and so yeah they they don't do nerfs very often if at all because uh, they're usually not received very well by the player base um they they really have tried to avoid nerfing characters but i mean i do have to agree you know silver surfer is like on par with dr doom and people really had to work hard to get dr doom and then just kind of giving everyone like a dr doom level character um 
I, I can see why they want to nerf him. I mean, pretty much everyone's reaction to him was like, this guy is just overwhelmingly powerful. Um, I, I mean, as he should be, as the character is in the comics. I feel like you, you want someone like him, and plus the promo videos they've been doing for him, like, show him, like, you know, even flying to Latveria and going right into Doom's throne room, like, bring it. You know, yeah. to nerf him now, it just seems so... I don't know, silly, I guess. So I, I think he'll still stand up to Doom because he can get seven red stars and Doom can't. And then the only other change sure. they're making is they're just making it so that his passive heal is on turn. So it will be about half as much of the passive healing, but he'll still heal a ton and take a ton of turns. So, I mean, uh, as far as our tier list, he's still going to be a god tier solo character by a healthy, healthy margin. So um, it is... And if you play some... If you play some of people with speed up and, and things and people that take a lot of turns, he's still going to get a lot of healing as long as they keep taking turns as well. Yeah, um, so I agree. You know, I, he's still going to be really, really, really good. Uh, yeah, I, I wish, you know, they basically properly balanced these characters before release and didn't have to make changes to him after the fact. Like they just had to give Iceman more focus and stuff like that. Um, but Quality testing. Yeah, so this is a bummer for sure, but he's still going to be really, really strong. So this doesn't bother me too much because like I'm, I'm going to invest in him the same amount. He still looks amazing, but definitely a bummer. Um, I mean, he's my favorite character, so I'm still going to do everything for him. I'm still going to take him as high as he possibly can go at any point in time. So even if they nerf him even more than this, if they do another nerf, I'll still love him. Yep, I, I think I'm in the same place. Uh, so that concludes the bad, and now we'll talk about the ugly. Um, I, I think people are not going to be too thrilled with this. Um, I heard from uh, a dev source, I'll leave it at that, that they were going to be removing uh, raid heals altogether, just like how they have them in the Greek raids, but just no more raid heals from Ultimus or Doom Raid either, just no revives or heals. Um, and so to verify this, I PM Cerebro, and here's what I was told. Um, so you can see towards the bottom there, I'd asked him, can you please explain why you're getting rid of raid heals and revives altogether? And I should mention like for Ultimus raid, I don't even use them. So this, I'm just upset on behalf of like other players. Um, but the explanation was I can't really comment because we haven't made the announcement yet, which should go out tomorrow. Rest assured that player feedback indicates players prefer investing in characters as opposed to heals and revives. Um, I know. Yeah, I. I know. That's what. You know, uh, I think the idea is like, oh, people can spend their their power cores and their currency and stuff getting raid heals and revives, or they can spend you know the same effort powering up the characters themselves, and then. Not only will they do better in the raids, but then they'll have stronger characters for it. I think that's what they're going for. Um, uh, well, I, I mean, I, I could I could see that, but they're going to have to change like the weekly challenges and like stuff we get from, uh, you know, you know, like like the blitz stuff. You get the you get the the revives there too. Like they're going right, to change right. the reward structure. Right. I mean, it, yeah. Uh, so we're still getting the blitz heals and the dark dimension heals but yeah they'll they'll have to pull the raid heals from that obviously if they don't do anything um so and and i had just heard ultimus and doom raids so i don't know if, if maybe there's going to be some other raid but uh i assume that I, I my guess is they ran the test with the greek raids and found out like my honest thoughts they probably made a good amount of power cores from people doing the greek raids without them and we're like we'll make even more power cores if we yank them from ultimus and doom as well yeah, um, that's true. That's true. Especially the Doom Raid. Like, I've seen, you know, you blowing through cores just trying to get, like, to 30. So I can only imagine, like, what what's going to happen now. All right. Now, just just uh, that that may have happened before, but just to protect my own reputation, uh, as it stands, we get to 30 percent without me needing to spend any cores. But uh, there, I'm sure there was a point when the, the raid first came out where uh, I didn't have all the characters where I needed and, and we were. Yeah, you were really missing that gear tier 15 night nurse. They started. Surprisingly, she has been a lot less help than I thought. Not because she hasn't been performing well, but just because uh, what I'm really lacking is damage. Um, but now I can sustain all day just to time out and still not do enough damage. But it's kind of off topic. But yeah, I mean, uh, you know, how do you think this is going to impact the general player base? 
I mean, I think for new players, it's going to make it a lot harder to get up to that 30, 60 and 100 percent, especially in the lower old. So, I mean, I, I never had any trouble, but I always chose people that had good sustain. But if they can't unlock them and then they have issues or they just have a bad day, bad RNG, it's going to probably prevent a lot more people from unlocking uh, the max rewards that they can get. I, I feel it's rather silly, uh, unless, of course, they changed the reward structure like if ultimus and doom raids are starting to give out more rewards because you cannot revive i i'd say that's fair if I'd, they do well, that i'd but... like more rewards but i feel like that would really upset people if they're like you made the rewards better while making them harder for me to reach like thanks jerk i don't know well see here's the thing making it harder for you to reach without giving you more rewards seems worse to me I mean, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Same, same amount of effort. Well, no, actually more effort for less rewards. That's I mean, are the what, same rewards for Amazon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's it's pretty brutal. Um, so I'm I'm not a fan of this change at all. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to make sure I put it in this video was so that they can hear the feedback on this. And hopefully enough people tell them do not do this. Uh, no, yeah, I, this is I a no not. win situation. I don't care if they make more power cores like you can only reduce people's enjoyment so much. Um, and then yeah. the, the final thing that I wanted to put in the ugly section. Now, this is not confirmed, uh, but based on some data mines we've seen, I'll say that it's it's speculated. Um, and that is, uh, it looks like tier five ability materials might be showing up pretty soon, um, which is odd because normally there's two tiers of every ability material. Uh, and so we're only on the first tier of the orange ability mats. So there should be another tier of orange mats. But so this was in the like sprite sheets and stuff a while back. So I'll pull up an image of it here. Um, you can see the, the tier five ability material in red there under the T4. And uh, that was in the sprite sheets for a while. And then they removed it. And I, I think why they removed it was because people were like panicking that it was in there. Like, oh, they're just waiting to hit us with this one. Um, they pulled it, but reintroducing it, like, why would they put it back in? It could be a coincidence, but then we also saw this, which is, uh, this is a separate data mine, um, and it's from an area, let me look here, debug combat smoke test. So, like, this is actually where we found the Jubilee and the Bishop leaks before they, we were supposed to know about those as well. Um, so this is, like, typically stuff they test ahead of time for future patches. And you can see that uh, where it would normally say like 6664, it says 66646, 55535. So what this looks like to me is that they're adding some kind of ability or trait or stat level or something as an additional level of an ability that you're going to use the T5 mats for. Again, this is kind of speculative. Um, this has not been announced or, or leaked or rumored or anything, but... It's weird for both of these things to suddenly show up. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what they're doing on that front. What? How do you hope they're handling this? I mean, I, I hope this will mean that the floodgates of T4 material, at least, will will be let open so that we can at least level up everything. And how is this going to change the abilities? Because, I mean, if they're already worried about, like, how strong someone is, like, you know, the passives and the alt doing this much, they're only going to increase from here, like that's gonna really unbalance the game i feel like if they're introducing this they really need more you know player testing or, or something to make it so that we know how to balance these abilities and plus like what are we gonna get like five of these a month like how are they gonna balance this now yeah i don't know uh i hope you're right i hope that this does allow them to make t4 abilities more available but yeah who knows this this could like reshape the value of characters uh this this has a lot of big implications so uh, I, I always encourage people like there's no reason to freak out. This isn't necessarily bad news. This could be like new leadership abilities that we all love. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think with the, the unstable state of the game currently, um, I, I think it's I, I think it's a risky move introducing potentially a bunch of new abilities that um, sh potentially shift the balance of the values of the characters. Uh, I think right now it's risky. I, I, I would say maybe like six months, maybe a year down the line, it wouldn't be such a bad idea. But right now, how everything is going, especially with them, you know, again, nerfing a character they just released and now they're offering up T15 mats. Like, how is that going to balance him? Like, how is that going to affect what he does already? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, 
So, you know, I just I, I was sitting on uh, some of this stuff for the last couple of days and I figured, uh, let me go ahead and make a video, make sure people have an idea of what's coming. And, and I always like to share stuff like this with people, because if they see things like I, I suspect some of these things people won't love. And so I want to always give people the opportunity to make some noise about them before they actually get implemented. Every once in a while, we're able to kind of steer the devs away from a decision that they're going to make that uh, people are not going to be thrilled with. So um, before any of these things actually get implemented, uh, yeah, uh, let us know in the comments what you guys think of everything that we've talked about. Um, you know, at least we got some good news, which is I'm really, really looking forward to that Nick Fury skin. It does look awesome. Um, but yeah, yeah. That, that looks great. Okay. On that note, any closing thoughts? Um, if you had to choose between one or two uglies, I'd say do the no heals and get rid of the 15 mats and at least until you balance the game a little better. Uh, oof. Uh, I'm not a fan of any of them personally, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what the people think. Let us know in the comments below. Thank you, Poison. Yeah. Otherwise, though, uh, Joss, it's been fun, you know, breaking upcoming news with you. Uh, we're kind of making a habit of it at this point uh, that we established so. with Bishop and Jubilee. So we will do this thank again. Thank you, sir, for this. No problem. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys very much for checking out this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and make an angry Reddit post. And I will see you guys real soon. Till next time. Peace.